In this video, we are going to create an ERC-1155 airdrop to holders of ERC-721 tokens. This means that we are going to be able to reward the holders of NFTs from our own NFT collections. Before we get started, please remember to like and comment and also subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you can be the first to hear about all of our new videos and skill up your Web3 development skills. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create the ERC721 token in order for us to have holders of this token with which to airdrop to and then mint that to a certain address so that we can have a holder with which to reward. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to head to the explore page, which you can find at thirdweb.com slash explore. We're then going to want to click on NFT drop. Here you will see details on the contract itself, what it could be used for. So you're going to want to make sure that you're on the latest version and then we're going to click deploy now. We now need to choose a name for our NFT drop and I'm going to call mine shapes NFT drop. Nice and original. And then the symbol is just going to be SND um, and I'm going to upload a file Let's go with a yellow star, open. You then will just want to upload an image. Um, you will find some assets in the description down below. And then the recipient address and the royalties are both going to be your testnet wallet address. And I'm just going to check that that is definitely to my testnet address, which it is. Um, I want to then make sure that I have some girly ETH because I'm going to be deploying this contract to the girly testnet. And I definitely want to deploy to a testnet because this is a test. I don't want to be paying any gas fees. So click deploy now. We are then going to confirm the transaction. Great, our contract has now been created. We are now going to head to the NFTs tab and batch upload some NFTs for the users to mint. So we're going to click batch upload. Um, and in this, we need to make sure that we have a CSV or a JSON file. So here I have just used the example file system that I have linked the GitHub repo to down below. And this will include the CSV file. So you can literally just drag and drop the file into the box. And here we will see all the lovely shapes. We click next and I'm going to click reveal upon mint. And then I'm going to upload 30 NFTs. Confirm the transaction as always. So before we claim any NFTs, we're going to need to head to the claim conditions tab and we're going to have to add an initial claim phrase. Now we're going to keep this simple. So we're going to say that any wallet can claim. We are going to charge nothing and it doesn't really matter what currency because we're charging nothing. We are going to set it all unlimited, any wallet and save the claim phrase. We are now going to click claim and claim one NFT to our test wallet address. Awesome. Now that we have our ERC721 NFT minted to an address, we can now go ahead and create some ERC1155 tokens to reward our holders. So we are going to head back to the explore page. So now what we are going to do is we are going to create an addition contract. And here again, you'll be able to see all the details of the addition contract. All that it is, is an ERC-1155 token. An ERC-721 is a distinct token where every single token is different from each other. Whereas with 1155s, you have multiples of the same token, which you can then distribute. So we're going to make sure again that we're on the latest version. We're going to click deploy now. We're going to name our addition contract, something like my edition collection. We're going to upload load a file for the image, a symbol, <clears throat> a symbol. And then we are going to deploy to the girly testnet again. Now we are going to head to the NFTs tab and we are going to click mint. We are going to name our NFT something like star reward. 
use a picture. I'm going to do a purple one for third web. And I'm going to set the initial to supply to at least the same as the amount that I want to airdrop, probably more. So I'm going to say something like 20. And then I'm going to mint the NFT. Amazing. What we will now need to do is we will need to create a list of addresses in a CSV file to airdrop tokens to. So the way that we are going to do this is by creating a script that will get the owners of the ERC721 collection and then create a CSV file from it. So we are going to create a script in JavaScript. So we need to initialize a Node.js project. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our terminal. So we're going to make a directory for our script to live in. So airdrop NFT, and then we're going to navigate inside this. And then we're going to go npm, I don't know if I have that, npm init dash y. I also then need to add the required dependencies. We are then going to open up this in our code editor. Now we need to create a new file. I'm going to create a new folder called scripts and then a new file called airdrop.mjs. And you're going to add this code inside of it. So what this code does is that it gets the contract for the ERC721. And then if there is no contract, we're going to return a log. We are then going to get the ERC721 tokens from that contract. And then if there are no, no tokens, we are going to again return a log. So this means that we are setting ourselves up to be able to read who are the owners of this token in this contract. We are now going to add a variable called CSV. And what we're going to do is we're going to iterate through all of the NFTs and we are going to call this callback function reduce. It is going to enumerate the NFTs and create a map of owner to quantity so that we can see who all of the owners of the NFTs are and create a variable which contains all of these addresses. We then just need to check that none of these addresses are the zero address and just filter them out if they are. And then we are going to create a variable which contains the information in the correct format. We then finally just need to write this to a file. We then just need to write this to a file which we will do so like this, making sure that we are importing FS. We are then going to save this file. Just to summarize, what this script is doing is it getting all the NFTs from the original NFT collection, and then we are reducing it to get the amount of NFTs owned by each owner, if the description was not completely clear earlier. We are using FS to create a new CSV file and add the data in. So now what we're going to do is we are going to run node scripts slash airdrop dot mjs. And it has created this nfts.csv file. And if you open that up, and as you will see, you will have your testing address and that you own one NFT. Great, it has worked perfectly. Now, once we are done updating and checking the CSV file, we're going to go back to our addition contract and we are going to click on the NFT. We are then going to click airdrop and we're going to upload addresses. And we are going to drag and drop the CSV file that we just created with our script. I'm going to click next and you'll see one address is ready to be airdropped. We can now just click airdrop. Confirm the transaction as always. And if we head over to the events tab, you will see that there has been a single transfer of token ID zero and a value of one to your test address. And then also if we head over to OpenSea, you will be able to see our airdrops NFT that we are now own. Awesome, the airdrop has been successful. Congratulations, you have successfully created an airdrop of ERC 1155 tokens to the holders of your NFTs. 
It is also worth noting that down below will be linked some assets for you to use if you want to practice um, creating your own airdrops or if you want to see a written guide of how to do this then that will also be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.